Have you ever wondered what Bitcoin is? Well, you're not alone. When we think about money, we usually picture coins, banknotes and credit cards. But Bitcoin? It's different. Bitcoin is a digital currency, also known as a cryptocurrency. Unlike traditional currencies issued by governments, Bitcoin operates independently of a central bank. Now, this might sound a bit confusing, but all it means is that Bitcoin is decentralized. No single institution controls the Bitcoin network. This revolutionary form of money was introduced in 2009, not by a financial institution or government, but by an unknown person, or perhaps a group of people, using the alias Satoshi Nakamoto. This anonymity adds to the allure and mystery of Bitcoin. So in essence, Bitcoin is a revolutionary form of money that exists only online. Now you might be wondering, how does Bitcoin work? Well, to understand Bitcoin first, we need to grasp the concept of blockchain, the technology that powers it. Picture a digital ledger, a kind of spreadsheet, if you will. This ledger isn't stored in one place, but is distributed across many computers worldwide. Each block in this chain contains a list of transactions. Every time a transaction occurs, it's added to the ledger, creating a long and unbroken chain of every transaction made. This decentralized and transparent nature of blockchain makes Bitcoin secure and trustworthy. Now let's talk about transactions. When you send or receive Bitcoins, the transaction is broadcasted to the network. The computers in the network, also known as nodes, validate these transactions using complex algorithms. Once confirmed, these transactions are bundled into a new block and added to the blockchain. But who does the work of confirming transactions and adding blocks? Well, that's where Bitcoin miners come in. Miners are powerful computers that solve complex mathematical problems to confirm transactions. The first miner to solve the problem gets to add the new block to the blockchain. As a reward, they receive newly minted Bitcoins. This process is known as Bitcoin mining. However, it's not a free for all. The Bitcoin protocol only allows a certain number of new Bitcoins to be created each day. This scarcity, combined with the computational effort required to mine them, gives Bitcoins their value. While all this might sound a bit complicated, using Bitcoin is actually quite straightforward. It's just like using digital banking or online payment systems. You simply need a Bitcoin wallet, which is a kind of digital bank account. From your wallet, you can send or receive Bitcoins to other people, buy goods and services, or even save for the future. Despite its complex inner workings, using Bitcoin is as simple as sending an email. You might ask, why is Bitcoin valuable? The answer lies in the simple economics of supply and demand. Just like gold, Bitcoin is scarce. There's a limited supply, with only 21 million Bitcoins that will ever exist. This scarcity creates a demand. But unlike gold, or any physical asset for that matter, Bitcoin is easily transferable and can be sent anywhere in the world in a matter of minutes. Now, let's talk about utility. Bitcoin isn't just a shiny digital object to look at. It has real-world applications. It's a decentralized currency, free from government control. That means you have full control over your money. Bitcoin also enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions, meaning you can send and receive money without needing a middleman, like a bank. So Bitcoin's value comes from its potential uses and its limited supply. It's a novel concept that's reshaping our understanding of what money can be. So how can you get your hands on some Bitcoin? Well, there are several ways to acquire this digital gold. The most common method is buying it on a cryptocurrency exchange. Think of it as a digital marketplace where you can trade traditional money, like pounds or dollars for Bitcoin. But there's more. You can also earn Bitcoin through a process called mining. Picture yourself as a digital prospector, solving complex mathematical puzzles. When you solve these puzzles, you're rewarded with Bitcoin. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Lastly, you can receive Bitcoin as a payment. This is becoming more common as many businesses now accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. You can sell products or services and have your customers pay you in Bitcoin. Remember, while the process may sound complex, it's not much different from making an online transaction. Getting Bitcoin is as easy as buying a product online. So why should you care about Bitcoin? You might ask. Well, let's delve into that. Bitcoin, as we've seen, isn't just a currency, but rather a revolutionary technology with boundless potential. One of its key attractions is the potential for high returns. Akin to striking gold, Bitcoin has turned many early adopters into millionaires, albeit with a fair share of volatility. But it's not all about the money. 
Bitcoin's decentralized nature makes it ideal for international transactions. No banks, no borders, no bureaucracy, just you, your Bitcoin and the wide world. Moreover, Bitcoin serves as a potential hedge against inflation, a digital gold if you will. As traditional currencies fluctuate and economies wobble, Bitcoin stands strong, independent of any central authority. In essence, Bitcoin is more than just a buzzword. It's a new way of understanding money and technology. Whether you're investing, sending money overseas, or just interested in new technology, Bitcoin has something to offer.